What's going on? This is Medicosis Perfect Schnellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. This video is part of my comparisons playlist. Today we'll compare between the adrenal cortex, which is on the outside, and the adrenal medulla, which is in the core of this adrenal gland. So the adrenal gland is made of cortex and medulla. The cortex is made of three sublayers. We have the zona glomerulosa, which secretes aldosterone to raise your blood pressure. And then we have the zona fasciculata to secrete cortisol to raise your blood sugar. And then we have the zona reticularis, which secretes adrenal androgens. As for the adrenal medulla, however, it is part of the autonomic nervous system, especially sympathetic, fight, flight. When you're running from a tiger, you need your adrenal medulla. To do what? To secrete the catecholamines. Like what? Like epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. This is my comparisons playlist. I have tons of these. My favorite video in this playlist is called Insulin World vs. Glucagon World. As you know, you have the CEO followed by the general manager, and then you have the employees and the independent contractors, who are the ones that listen to the manager, only the employees, thyroid, adrenal cortex, and gonads. Adrenal cortex listens to the pituitary via ACTH, but the adrenal medulla does not listen to the pituitary. Here's the hypothalamus secreting corticotropin releasing hormone, which goes to the anterior pituitary to release ACTH. Adreno, because it's the adrenal. Cortico, going to the cortex. Tropic, makes it grow. Hormone, and then we go to the adrenal cortex. ACTH is going to influence the secretion of cortisol from the zona fasciculata and androgens from the zona reticularis. How about aldosterone from the zona glomerulosa? Well, this is not under the influence of ACTH. Aldosterone is under the influence of angiotensin II in the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, which we have talked about in previous videos in my biology playlist and in my endocrinology playlist. Let's go! Adrenal gland, two layers, cortex and medulla. The cortex is subdivided into three sublayers, each called zona. You have the zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata, zona reticularis. The zona glomerulosa secretes aldosterone, zona fasciculata secretes cortisol, zona reticularis secretes adrenal androgens. Cortex medulla. Let's go. Adrenal cortex. You have zona glomerulosa to secrete mineralocorticoids such as aldosterone. Why mineralo? Because it will raise your serum sodium, which is a mineral. Zona fasciculata secretes glucocorticoids like cortisol. Why call it glucose? Because it's going to raise your blood glucose. And then the reticularis secretes androgens such as dihydroepiandrosterone. Who stimulates aldosterone release? Angiotensin II, part of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Who secretes the release of cortisol and the adrenal androgens? ACTH from the anterior pituitary, which is influenced by CRH from the hypothalamus. Next, adrenal medulla. What do you have? Chromaffin cells. What do you secrete? Catecholamines. Catecholamines like what? Epinephrine or epinephrine dopamine. Who's the stimulus? Preganglionic fibers, part of the sympathetic nervous system. They will throw acetylcholine in your face, and as a response, you will start to secrete your catecholamine. Let's review the adrenal gland from Picmonic. Let's go! Here is the lovely adrenal gland. On the outside, this is the cortex, the yellow part. And deep, there is the medulla, the dark red part. The cortex is depicted here by Cortez, the conquistador. My Spanish is on steroids, no pun intended. What does the cortex secrete? You have aldosterone, the aldosterio, cortisol, the court of soul, and adrenal androgens, the android genie. That was the cortex. How about the adrenal medulla, the medusa? It secretes epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Here is epinephrine, here is nor 
epinephrine. For more wonderful mnemonics like these, go to pickmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis and they will hook you up. Now this should be a piece of cake, adrenal cortex versus adrenal medulla. The cortex secretes steroids, which are lipid hormones. The medulla secretes catecholamines, which are water-soluble hormones. The cortex has lipid-soluble hormones. Lipid hormones are slow in action because we have to wait for them until they diffuse through the lipid bilayer cell membrane, which takes time. And then we have to wait until they reach the receptor, which is way deep and far away in the cytoplasm or the nucleus. But the medulla, it's very fast because the receptor is waiting on the membrane surface. That's why we call them cell membrane surface receptors. Hey Cortex, where did you get your lipid hormones from? From a raw material known as cholesterol. Hey Medulla, where did you get your proteins peptides from? From an amino acid known as tyrosine, which comes from another amino acid known as phenylalanine. Stimulus for secretion of these cortical hormones. We have the renin, angiotensin, and aldosterone system for aldosterone. We have ACTH for cortisol and androgens. Hey, medulla, who stimulates you? Preganglionic fibers, these are autonomic parts of the sympathetic nervous system. They will throw acetylcholine on me and they will have nicotinic sub N receptor waiting for them. Hypersecretion from the cortex is known as cons if you're talking about aldosterone, or Cushing if you're talking about cortisol. Hyposecretion is called Addison. No one is secreting anything. Conversely, hypersecretion in the middle is called pheochromocytoma. You'll be secreting tons of catecholamines like epinephrine nor epinephrine dopamine. And don't forget, where did the adrenal cortex come from? From the mesoderm. But the adrenal medulla comes from the ectoderm because it's part of your nervous system. If you like this video, I have a course about renal physiology on my website, medicosasperfectionalis.com. Another course about endocrine pharmacology on the same website. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionals, where medicine makes perfect sense.